So in America, if you are between the ages of like 18 and 35, just a range, not particularly you could fall within or without that, but that age range, the next generation of young leaders, young adults, and people who will carry this country forward in the next few years, uh, I'm pretty concerned about because I just see an incredible lack of urgency. Things are, relatively speaking, pretty good in America. If you're on one of the higher ends uh, and blessed, myself included, I believe I'm very blessed, have had adversities, have had struggles, but lessons that have taught me to grow and move forward. Uh, a lot of things from my family members, like my mom and my grandparents that have instilled values in me that allow me to be who I am today have set me up in a really good position. And as I was going through social media, I just see way too many people that I don't think are pushing the envelope for their potential. They're very, uh, what's the word? They're very complacent with where they're at. I don't see a whole lot of push. I just see a whole lot of pull. I don't see a whole lot of give. I see a whole lot of taking, right? I see way too many people going on too many vacations. I'm not saying never take a vacation. I'm just saying you shouldn't be going on six, seven, eight vacations a year. Like every six weeks, you're out and about posting about where you're going. And I'm like, when are you working? When are you working? I don't see people in the gym like they should be. You can look at their bodies and tell them that they're out of shape. Like they're you know, not taking care of themselves. They're out of the bars. They're eating crappy food that they're posting on their stories. And I'm just concerned because I'm part of the next generation of Americans. And my goal is to inspire people and to just bring this country forward. And this isn't like some... I don't want to be calling out shots against everybody because not everyone's doing that, but there's a large majority of people that I see that don't take their lives seriously. They don't take this time on this earth seriously, and they're not producing or even living up to anywhere close near to their potential. And it bothers me. It really, truly does. Because I want people to be, again, healthy, happy, and wealthy. And way too many people are way too complacent with where they're at. They're not putting in the work like they need to be. And it's a problem moving forward for the country. So if you're one of those people, step your game up, set a higher standard, start going to the gym, start exercising, put in the hours at work, get everything potentially that you can get in your life. And then some, I believe that that will only produce a net positive for the country. I think that's why we're seeing so many problems here in America today is because people are too freaking comfortable. People want to have the easy road, the easy life, and that's not how this country was built, and that's not how this country is going to move forward in the future. So, a little bit more cutting at people than I usually do, but it's just pissing me off seeing all this stuff on social media where people think that it's just like the good life and you can just chill. That's not what we're supposed to do. In your 20s and 30s, man, you got to freaking get after it. You got to get pissed off and you got to put your head down and you got to get to work because there's other people around the world that want to take what you have. There's other people within this own country that will get spots ahead of you. And then you'll be asking yourself, why am I not where that person is? It's because you didn't put in the work in your 20s and in your 30s. So I hope to not be a hypocrite and I hope to put everything moving forward that I can so I can get everything that I want in my 20s and 30s. And then reciprocate that back onto people with the skills that I've learned. Um, being blessed by God, having these capabilities and talents, and then just sharing the word with people in all this success, praising him in the end. So as always, thank you guys for watching this episode. Peace, much love.